Today, I'm tying one of my favorite nymphs, the Frenchie, successful in international competition and on everyday rivers. Oh, there yep, we go. Yep, there we are. Oh, oh, what, a a slap, sharp, dude, what a slap, dude, what a slap. Hey everybody, welcome to Familiar Waters and FWFishing.com. I'm Mike Pulaski. Today, I'm tying one of my favorite nymphs, and it's the Frenchie. A more modern nymph than the traditional stuff. It's one of those Euro nymphs that's been used to great success in international competitions. It is simply a simpler pheasant tail with a hot spot up at the top. And so, whether it's contrast that makes a fish hit, whether they think it's an egg, whatever it is, Fish seem to love this bug, and so the Frenchie should be in your fly box. I just recently wrote a new blog article at fwfishing.com. You should check out, talk about the 14 most successful nymphs that I fish. Remember, I did a fly fishing show for 15 years, so I had to catch fish every time I hit the water. These are the 14 nymphs that I carry in my fly box every single trip, no matter where I'm going for trout. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, give us a like down below. And please leave us a comment because we'd love to hear from you. Now, let's hit the vise. We're talking about the Frenchie today. So today, we're tying the Frenchie. Great little bug. It's really a simplified uh, pheasant tail, which I love the pheasant tail. It's got a little hot spot, only four materials to this bug, so it makes it super cool. We're going to tie it on the Umqua X-Series, the Super Jig 60, and you can see size 16 right here. We will put this in the materials description down below for the recipe using a gold bead, a little three mil, and then ultra thread 140. So I'm gonna wrap it on. This is gonna be in bright orange. It's gonna be part of our hot spot. You could do this with two separate threads if you wanted to. I like just tying with one, so the orange is good. Tying back to the straight section of the hook. We don't wanna get into the bend because we wanna have that straight tail and straight body segmentation coming out and get a natural looking tail. So we're gonna work on tapers on this Frenchie all the time. So you can see me wrapping forward and wrapping back out. I want a slim profile, but I also want it to have a little taper to it. So my tail will be Coque de Leon. You can see here, I'll grab five or six fibers on a pheasant tail. You, you know, normally have four to six fibers in there, something like that. I'm gonna do the same thing with the Coque de Leon for this bug. And you can see, you can measure it out if you want to. I'm going to make this about a third of the overall body for the tail. The mayflies tend to have those nice, long, beautiful tails. Coque de Leon is going to allow me to do that with that modeling. And so, I started to get it to about a third of the overall body length and wrap it in. forward trim and then a couple extra wraps around the head to give me that taper and work back to the back next I'm gonna tie in thin copper wire you can use you know as thick a segment as you want for this uh, I like the thin copper wire because it's gonna add durability to this fly pheasant tail has a tendency to break and snap because it's just a simple feather barbule and so this is going to add some durability to it. Next I'm going to tie in pheasant tail and here's where I differ a little bit in some of these patterns is that I treat, I'll take one piece of the pheasant tail and I will treat it with Softex which is a great product. Um, it will make these fibers more durable it will make them stay together better. And if it does get marred or cut up when you're using it on a streamer, all you have to do literally is put some more soft text on it and it will all melt it back together. And so it's a cool little coating to put on top of your pheasant tail to make it more solid. I'll take about you know three to four barbules off that feather. And I will then wrap them in all the way back to the tail tie-in. Come back forward. And then I will begin wrapping with that pheasant tail. Just start at that tail. 
if I get a peak of orange coming out underneath, it doesn't hurt my feelings. There are actually Frenchies with the orange hotspot, orange butt Frenchie or something like that, that are out there on the market uh, as well. So it's a two for one here as I tie this thing. But wrap that feather tail all the way forward to the bead. Butt it right up against there. And tie it off, one in front, one behind. I'll clip it tight. Next, I'm just going to counter wrap what I just did with my copper wire. Tie this off here, a little half hitch to save my work at this point. And I'll use the rotary aspect of my vise for the copper wire wrap in. You can wrap these tight if you like that super segmented body. You can wrap them a little bit loose, but Wrap them counter to how you wrapped in the pheasant tail because you want them to stay on top of those pheasant tail wraps that you just put in. So I'll get it to the front, tie it off, clip it. You can break it if you want to. And then lock it down. So you could literally stop right there, it'd be a good bug. Last addition here, I'm going to use ice dubbing. I have the pack that I keep inside the holder like this. Uh, you can go with orange, you can go with hot pink, you can go with that kind of salmon egg color, that salmon color, which is what I'm going to use today. Uh, any of those hot spots will work really well for you. You know, it's, it's kind of those salmoned colors that you see all the time on trout lures and trout flies. And so any of those old spay flies and swinging flies had all those peaches and pinks and oranges. Um, that work really well for salmon. So that's what we're tying in here for the hot spot on this Frenchie. Give myself one wrap and then make it a real thin noodle. Don't need a ton of this. And I like it a little bit buggy up here so that it kind of gives you those leg profiles and those international competitions they are not allowed to use any weight and so they tend to keep their bugs pretty clean. They don't make them super leggy and super buggy because they need to sink. I like to have a little bugginess up top here. And so I'll wrap that in, two or three wraps to cover with my orange thread, and then I'll just whip finish to finish this off. And you get that double hot spot effect where you get that salmon color in the ice dub, and then the orange thread on top gives you a hot spot as well there you have it, the Frenchie. So as you can see, simple pattern, simple bug. Four materials that you tie in after the hook and the bead are on and really easy to tie, but incredibly effective on the river, which is the hallmark of a great bug for your box. Don't forget, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, give us a like, and leave us a comment down below. And remember, we just posted that blog about the 14 most effective nymphs for trout at fwfishing.com. Make sure you check it out. I appreciate you guys watching today. I just wanted to show you very effective, very simple nymph. You should keep in your box the Frenchie. I'm Mike Pulaski, and I'll catch you on the next piece of Familiar Waters.